Hey guys, welcome to Lara Tips. Today we'll set up our e-commerce project. We'll install Laravel and then install Laravel Breeze using Vue 3 and Inertia JS and then finally upload it to a live server which is Cloudways. And speaking of Cloudways, Cloudways is a managed cloud hosting platform which focuses on your business and avoid all the web hosting hassles. Cloudways will take care of the server setup for you and you can go live in minutes using the Cloudways. You can select any one of these applications like WordPress, Laravel, PHP, etc. And you can host those in any one of these server like DigitalOcean, AWS, Vulture, Google Cloud or Linode. And also you can scale your server size as you need using the simple and easy user interface. You can use the link below to subscribe to Cloudways. And if you do so, you will get $15 as a credit. And you can use that $15 to set up a base server. And it will last you almost a month, which means that you are getting one month free. And thanks to Cloudways for sponsoring this video. So let's get started. Okay, now first of all, let us install Laravel. So here I'll say composer create project Laravel slash Laravel and e-commerce it will now install laravel in my sites directory also let me open over here laravel docs let me and also let me go here in the starter kit and breeze and inertia and also let me just go over here like this so it is the installation over here and the laravel is successfully installed so we need to first install this Laravel Breeze from the Composer. And then after that, we'll not run only this PSB Artisan Breeze install, okay? We'll run the view as well. Let me just copy it and paste it over here. And it is saying me that PSP Artisan Bridge install could not open them. Sorry, we need to go into the our project root directory. So I'll so do here CD e-commerce like this and I'll again run this PHP artisan sorry this composer require Laravel bridge dev because I installed it outside the project so I'll run this one more time and of course I'll delete that Laravel bridge that is installed outside of my project then I'll run this PHP artisan bridge install view after that I need to run this npm install and and PM run dev. I'll run them both at the same time. And after that, we'll run this PSP artisan migrate. Okay, now the node dependencies have also been successfully installed. And now let me create a database. I'll see here create database e commerce new because I already have e commerce database before. I'll exit from here and also let me open it in a VS code. I'll go to .env file and here in the database and right here password and database name will be e-commerce new like this. Let me just make it a little bit bigger and now I'll run here PHP artisan migrate. You can see here the tables are successfully migrated and these are the only things that I need to run. Now I'll go here e-commerce dot test and hit enter then I will be able to see this Laravel page and here I'll see this login and register everything is out of the box because we have installed Breeze and all this is using Inertia JS. Now let me just add it to the git. I have just uh, made a commit and let me go here in the github and now here i'll just click here new and then i'll say here e-commerce like this and it will be a public repository and i'll create one okay we already have the existing repository so we need to add git remote add origin like this but it will be a different for me because i have set up my environment in a different way but for your case you'll just copy these three lines of code and you will be fine so i'll here i'll say here git git remote at origin git at the rate github under underscore lara tips 
you can see here git at the rate github.com but i have to write here github underscore lara tips this is the way i have set up my computer and here instead of e-commerce dash test dot git i'll write here this e-commerce dot git and also let me just write here capital e because here we have capital e and every other thing is same i'll hit enter and let me copy this and here it is showing me master but here in my case is main so instead of master i'll write main like this and git push minus u origin main enter the project is now pushed to the git and if i reload over here then i'll see all the codes of the laravel i created this github repository because you will also code along with me and also i need a github repository in order to deploy this project to the cloudways now let me go to the cloudways over here and just go here in the platform.cloudways.com and or you can just go to the cloudways.com and click on login and just enter your credentials and it will take you to this page let me just zoom it now you can see here server application and other data i'll click here launch now and now i can create a new server and i have already created a video on how to create a servers using cloudways you can also watch that video tutorial or just i'll show you just here select your application and we'll select the laravel 8.26 and we know that laravel 9 is already out and here if i do here php artisan dash dash version like this then you can see here the 9 version but by default there is no laravel 9 in the cloudways but i'll show you how you can upgrade that as well and the name of this will be e-commerce and your server also e-commerce and project is laravel if it doesn't show any project over here then you can just add it it will show you to add the project and we'll use this digital ocean 4gb whatever the default it is and the location it is showing me london but i'll choose bangalore because it is nearest to my country and after this i'll click here on the launch now and now it will take seven minutes almost seven minutes to create a server for us so I'll come back when the server is created. The server is created as you can see here it is saying me that e-commerce has been created and I have to just go here and click here then it will show me all the credentials by which I can log into my server. And also if I show you here in the applications then it will automatically create this e-commerce application as well. You can create one server and multiple applications which means you can host multiple laravel applications in one server in cloudways so this will be automatically created but let me go here in the server and here we'll get the login credentials to the server but we'll log in using sss public keys in my previous video tutorial i showed you how to log in using this username and password and I'll be leaving the link of that video just below that like button but here I'll show you how to use by using SSS public keys. So I'll just click here and it asks me to update the SSS keys but I haven't created them. So let us create our SSS credential first. So I'll go here in the terminal and I'm currently here in the SSS directory. If I just type here pwd then it will show me the current working directory of my mac suppose let's say you are here in the home directory okay by default whenever you open a terminal it will take you to the home directory then you can just do your cd like this tilde slash dot sss and in linux also it is the same thing but in case of windows just go inside your user directory whatever the root of your user directory and then you can also do it like this and if you are using git bash as a terminal in your windows then also you can do this same command just run this same command like this and then do sss dash ezn like this and hit enter and it will say it is generating the public keys and now we have to give a name to it so let us give cloudways like this or you can just write here e-commerce or anything that you want i'll hit enter and it will ask me for a parse phrase but i don't need to provide a parse phrase because it will be in my local computer but it is a good practice to provide a parse phrase or password but i'll not provide it i'll just hit enter then it will just ignore the password then now it created this cloudways sss keys 
and here i'll not show you all the sss keys names that is present in my laptop but i'll just show you only the cloud ways i'll do here ll and i'll do here grip cloud ways like this and sorry the spelling was wrong c l o u d cloudways like this and now you can see here these two files this cloudways and cloudways.pub this is the public key and this is a private key private key will always be in our own computer we must not share this to anybody else but this public key we can share it with anyone and here in the cloudways also we'll add our public keys so i'll say here lara tips and this sss key let me just copy this and let me say here cat and paste this thing it will show me the content of this file cloudways.pub and i'll copy it from here and then paste it over here and hit submit now it will add this sss key our public key to this cloudways server so that we'll be able to access this server by using the sss key without using any password now that i have done that i need to do something else because i did not use this default id underscore rsa to generate this private and public keys i just used the name cloudways so now if you don't have a config file in the same sss directory then you can create a config file you can just do here touch config like this and hit enter it will create this config file but i'll do here vi config and it will open this config file and i have already added something over here okay like this and this is the data that i have created just for testing but now here we'll replace things so here is the ip address i'll copy and i'll just replace this ip address and i'll just remove it and paste my ip address and this username also i'll replace this username with that username from our browser and this is the name of the host you can give whatever name you want and we'll use this in order to access the sss or the terminal of our server and this is the path to the private key whatever we had generated before now we have added this in config file then i'll just save it after that we can just do here sss and whatever the host name that you have given so i'll say here cloudways like this and hit enter and now it will ask me are you sure you want to continue then i'll say here yes and now we are in our server we are currently logged into our server because you can see here before it was like this and now it is showing this master something which is the username that we used to log in you can see here this username and this masked over here and if i just do here ls over here there is application cd applications ls and we'll go here sc and this is the random name that cloudways will generate and if i again do ls then there will be this public underscore html so i'll do cd public underscore html like this and ls like this then we can see all the contents of the laravel that eight point something version that was installed by default we can see all these things so i'll just do cd dot dot like this and now we have to link our github report to this after that we'll be able to deploy our default application but if you want to see that default application then i'll go here and click here inside the application and i can just click here in order to access that okay this is the default page that cloudways automatically creates for us now let us link the github so we'll go here deployment via git and it will generate sss key over here we have to generate it okay and now i'll do view sss key and i'll just copy it and now i'll go here in the this one our github and i'll go here i think it's inside the security sorry not it's inside the settings and if we go here in the deploy keys there is no deploy keys so i'll add here so i'll just write here um cloudways e-commerce and paste that over here and just add the key will not allow write access because we'll only read from this repository to our cloudways server so i'll just add key the key has been added successfully 
so now we'll go here and now it is here asking me this address i'll go here here in the code and here i'll copy this thing and go here and paste it over here and click here on the authenticate now here we'll be able to select the branch i'll click here on the main and the deployment part will be the default public underscore html and click on start deployment the deployment is in progress and it has now successfully deployed it is saying me repository cloned and now if i go here in this cloud based laravel and refresh then you can see here i am getting 500 error nothing is working now let us create a database okay so here let me go here inside the access details over here and you can see here the database name username and password we have to add this in our server so if i go here into cd public underscore html and if i just do here ll i think it will show me no so i'll just do ls and here i'll run composer update first of all okay we have to run composer update and it is saying me that your requirement could not be resolved to an installable set of packages composer requires 8.0.2 but we are using this 7.4.27 which means now we have to upgrade our php so for that we have to go here in the server e-commerce and go here in the settings and packages and then here inside the packages we can see this php mysql then now let us update this php to the 8.0 and save and click on ok now the php will be automatically updated we don't have to worry about it now it says the package updated which means that this has been changed to 8.0 and mysql is 10.4 and you can just install redis and supervisor also if we need it in the future i'll just install it at that time and for now let us just leave it as it is after this now let us again run this composer update and i hope we'll not get any error and now if i run php artisan dash dash version like this then you can see here 9.5.1 we are getting the latest version of laravel and now i also have to run the npm install and npm run dev and you can run this npm run production over here and i just ran npm run dev but it's better to run npm run production okay and it is com successfully compiled and whenever we run npm run production it will take a little bit while so i just ran this npm run dev okay we have done that now we need to set up database and if i just do here vi.enb then we can see here everything i'll just go here in the application e-commerce and here we can see the database details okay so i'll copy this username and database name is same so i'll go here this will be the database this will be the username and i'll just copy the password and paste it over here and if i go here in the top then i can just go here and change the name of this to e-commerce and the app url to whatever url we have so i'll just copy this and paste it over here and also in the end of this uh, series we'll also see how to add custom domain for now we'll just add it like this and we don't write here slash over here and environment will will keep local whenever we are developing and after we have developed we'll just change this to production and this to false so that other people will not find all the information about our env file so i'll just write and quit sorry about that it should be true and i'll hit escape colon wq like this now we have successfully saved our file now let us again go here and run it then we can see this laravel default page which we saw over here and that's it for today's video guys and in the next video we'll create crowd for i think categories we'll also set up some dashboard things so i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching have a great day bye